When I was when I was born, I was very poorly. Parts of my body didn't form properly, which means I always need help with going to the toilet. This is me when I was a baby. I had a colostomy bag which collected my poo. Now I have an ace button. I have a bowel washout on the toilet every day for about an hour and 15 minutes. Slide two. This is our urinary system. It's the part of the body which makes us wee. My urinary system doesn't work properly at the moment, so I wear pull-ups. <coughs> Slide three, but there is something that is going to change that. I am going to have a Mitrofenoff. It is called a Mitrofenoff after the man who came up with the idea. On the 26th of February, I am going to have another operation. My mum and dad will think it'll, it will be my 16th, but they have lost count. I will be asleep for around 10 hours and I'll have a part of my bowel attached to my bladder to make it bigger. That is called a bladder augmentation. I will also have my bladder neck repaired. This is the bit which stops the wee from falling out when it's supposed to. I'll have a mitrofenoff made. There is a part of your body called an appendix which isn't used for anything. My doctor will make a hole in my tummy and use the appendix as a tunnel into my bladder. He's also going to make a trap door so nothing can go into the hole by mistake. Slide 4. I won't wee like you do but I'll be able to wear pants. I'll put the catheter into a hole and it will go into my bladder. I'll stand next to a toilet and my wee will come out. When I have finished, I'll pull the catheter out. Slide five. I will need to be off school for a few weeks whilst my body gets better and I get used to the catheters. When I come back, I won't be able to see it. You won't be able to see it because it will be under my clothes. But I want you to know about it because you are my friends. Slide 6. My mum and dad were asked to write an article for a charity which helps hospitals and people with a mitrofenoff. They do lots of amazing things for free. All the people who work for the charity are volunteers and either have a mitrofenoff or know someone who has one. Slide 7. <laughs> I would like to do something to say thank you to this charity and I would like your help. On Thursday, 14th of February, I will be doing a bake sale in the playground to raise money for the charity. I've already raised £1,750 already with your help. I'm hoping to reach £2,000. Thank you for listening. Are there any questions? Anybody got any questions for Ruben?